To make our custard, we'll start by warming our three cups of half and half. And then we'll separate three eggs, so we can use the yolks. And three eggs, whole eggs, we will mix them together with our half cup of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. No scrambled eggs to receive. <laughs> now it's time to put the hot water in the base of our baking dishes and then we'll put this yummy custard mix into each of the ramekins and put it in the oven for about an hour until it sets. <laughs> I think it's gonna work out fine. I have a little bit of spilling through here. <laughs> It's always hard to find the right thing to pour with. So now we're going to put them in the oven and then pour the warm water into each of the baking dishes, trying to eliminate spilling. Okay, so that was a little bit stressful. Um, it's always tricky to not get water in the custard and not have the custard come out of the, the ramekins into the water. <laughs> so we'll see how this batch turns out. Well, we're going flying today. <laughs> Uh, from my dad, and then uh, back. So Portland and back. Quick trip. Uh, I'll I'll spend a little time uh, on the yoke today and fly. So that'll be fun. Fly the 750 horsepower turbine engine, uh, gorgeous new aircraft, Kodiak. It sets uh, idle speed. You can see low idle and high idle. So I'm introducing fuel by going over that. To make our rhubarb shortbread crumble tart, we're going to start by mixing together two cups of sliced rhubarb, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. For the crust and crumble topping, we'll use one cup of butter, two-thirds cup of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon, two teaspoons, quarter teaspoon of salt, All right, now it's time to add the flour to our butter mixture. And we don't want to over mix it, so just until it's all incorporated. And then, and three tablespoons of rolled oats. Pat down about two thirds of this dough into our tart pan and the 
remaining, remaining amount will be our crumble on top. just finished pressing down our crust here and we're going to pop it in the fridge and let it chill for 10 minutes as well as the topping. So we have our tart placed on our custard and we're ready to eat some here soon. Mm. Man, the tartness and the rhubarb mixed with the creaminess. So good. <laughs> Definitely recommend. If you enjoyed watching, please make sure to leave a comment below. We'd love to hear anything that you would like us to try out baking for our next bake. And subscribe. It makes a big difference. <laughs>